Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Pastor Emeritus Reverend Ron L. Spratley of Covenant of Grace Ministries. We've been in our eschatology series, The Doctrine of Last Things. We've been talking about the second coming of Christ. So let's get straight into today's teaching. We've been talking about the signs of the second coming of Christ. We're going to do a quick recap. Apostasy was sign number one, that is a turning away from the faith and a living God. Deception and appearance of the Antichrist was number two. Betrayal was number three, where we talked about a loss of trust and confidence in relationships. We said this was going to even be within the family. Number four, we've talked about global strife, famine, pestilence and earthquakes in various places. Number five was a sermon where we talked about lawlessness in the end times and love would wax cold. And one of the ones we're going to talk about in number six today that oftentimes is overlooked, and I think it's one of the key indicators that we can follow, the inappropriate behavior. Yes, there's going to be an abundance of inappropriate behavior as the end times approach. And if you are grounded in the doctrine and in the scripture, you are able to look around and see the fulfillment that all the things that the scripture talked about and predicted and prophesied hundreds and hundreds of years ago, you're seeing a manifestation of it. Now, so let's go into this inappropriate behavior. Our first scripture is going to be 1 Timothy 4, 1 and 2. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, the Holy Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times, some shall betray from the faith. We've already talked about apostasy. Giving heed to seducing spirits, and doctrines of devils, speaking what lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. We've, we're seeing that happening now. We know these processes and prophecy, all right, is progressive, but we see some of the indications of that now with these seducing spirits influencing our society in particular influencing our leadership, all right? Second Timothy 3, 1 and 2. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, right? For men shall be lovers of their own selves, all right? Covetous, bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. All right, let's take a closer look at this. Lovers of their own selves, affection and, and attention directed at self or lusters of self, a plague of narcissism, people thinking too highly of themselves. This is gonna be a plague, we've already seen that. Detached, Detached from the love of God, all right? Excessive admiration, thinking too highly of oneself. We see this all across our society as I speak today. Covetedness, having or showing a great desire to possess something belonging to someone else, all right? We see all this in the manifestation of crime, all right? We see all this in the manifestation of adultery. We see it every day. Greedy, materialistic, okay? Unsatisfied, insatiable, jealous. Insatiable people can't not be satisfied. They always want something more. They want more and more and more. Greedy, materialistic, manifestation of it is happening now. Bolsters, number three, to act and talk with excessive pride and self-satisfaction about one's achievements, okay? 
and possessions or abilities, self-centeredness, right? Quite the opposite. We know the scripture tells us, you know, not to be prideful, to be humble, okay? He resists the prideful, okay? But he gives more grace to the humble. So we're in a society where people are doing just the opposite. Proud, having or showing high or excessive high opinion of oneself. Arrogant, blasphemers, to speak in a way that shows irreverence or disrespect toward God and the things of God. Disobedient to parents deliberately do not do what a parent in authority tells you to do or what the Bible says you should do. See this everywhere. Blasphemy, disobedience to parents. Unthankful, no gratitude, okay? Unappreciative, finally unholy, sinful and wicked. And people ask the question, what is wrong with our society? Romans 3 and 23 tells us the problem. Christ came to solve this problem. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Have a blessed day, my friend. May God bless you till we have another opportunity to bring you another word. God bless you.